So it's time to feed my clover. And while I'm feeding her, I wanna take just a moment and tell you a little story about what happened with the sheep this week. Welcome back to My Wings of Refuge. I'm excited today, y'all. I am always excited. Today is the Lord's day, and this is the day that He has made. So I'm rejoicing in it, and, uh, and I'm glad. So what this story reminds me of is the story in Scripture. It's in Matthew chapter 18, verses 10 through 14, I believe. And it is the parable of the lost sheep. So, I, I know I tell you this often, but it is so true. Living among the sheep, Scripture comes to life all the time. Sophie, one of my favorite sheep, managed to get on the other side of the creek. Not a bad thing because there's probably lots to eat over there. But she was the only one, and that was very upsetting to her. Only after others started to leave. So I had come down to feed my baby Clover here and to check on all the sheep. Always counting heads when I discovered I was missing one, but I could see her just over on the other side and she could see me. She wasn't bothered by it at all. She just kept munching. So I did go and hunt her down by the bridge and offered her to come back because I knew if the sheep had left, she was going to be upset. So I went down there and I coaxed her and she said, I'm not coming. This grass is greener on the other side. I am not coming. I'm staying right here. I can see all the sheep. I know what I'm doing. And so I left her. A parable of the lost sheep. Remember the story? Okay, let's go find Sophie, who's on the other side of the bridge. Come on, Sophie. Everybody's looking for you. Is the grass always greener on the other side? Sophie! Come on, girl. Sophie! Hey, girl. Everyone's looking for you. There's everyone. Sophie, let's go, girl. You've been found. Pura says he'll just wait right there for her. Only I went back to the house, got a few things done, and then I realized it had begun to rain. Clover doesn't like the rain, and neither do the sheep. So you remember that parable of the lost sheep? I left her there because I thought everything was fine. And then I saw the sheep headed home and clover off the patio so i checked in on them and sure enough i hear screaming so i threw on my clothes as fast as i could and i took off sure enough sophie was still on the other side of the fence or the other side of the um creek come on buddy and uh she was stranded she couldn't get back across so man handling her afraid she was going in the creek got her across and what does she do she bolts on me beats me back to the barn here i am soaking wet and when i was screaming for her little clover heard me came running back to me so we both are out here getting wet but now we're back to the barn so in this parable of the lost sheep we're told a beautiful story about how when somebody goes astray and they're lost that Jesus would leave, the great shepherd would leave his 99 sheep to go after the one. So just assuming he has a hundred sheep. But to think, if one person in all of these people here on earth were to go astray, just one, he is willing to go after that person. That one lost soul is so important to him and he is there and he's willing. And you know, I am so grateful that he can leave the 99 sheep to come after a soul like me. 
because who am I? I'm just me. But he left the 99 to save my soul. And so he can save yours too. It doesn't matter what you've done in this world. It doesn't matter how corrupt and vile and horrible person you might be. The only thing that matters is that you turn back to him. He's there waiting for you. All you have to do is accept it. Believe on him. Call on his name. Ask forgiveness. He is right there, standing right beside you, right now, begging you, pleading with you, knocking on your door, offering you to come right back home to him. That's the God we serve. He is merciful. He is there for everybody, no matter what. Even the one lost sheep. So, if you're out there today and there's something going on in your life, remember the parable of the lost sheep. He is willing to leave all of those 99 to come after you. And not only that, in this parable it says when he comes after the one and that one turns back to him, he rejoices. He's excited. He is more cheerful for that one than he is the 99. Those 99 are doing what they're supposed to be doing. And that reminds me too of the prodigal son. When the one son, you know, goes bad and he does ugly things or whatever. But he's coming back to his father, right? He's coming back to the, the heavenly father. And what does the Lord do? The Lord runs to him. That is so heartwarming to me because God ran. He's running to you right now, ready to wrap his arms around you. Isn't that beautiful? So when I see a lost sheep, and I'm not even thinking, is that good, baby? I'm not even thinking about well, what would the shepherd do? You know, that is not even a thought. My, I'm just in action. I'm going to rescue that sheep. He doesn't have to sit there and think, am I going to go after her or am I not? You know, is she really worth it? Um, do I just want to let her go and see if she finds her way back? No, not at all. He is running to you. He is running to you, ready to welcome you right back into the fold, <laughs> right back into the flock. So, y'all, I just hope in some way, some way, that that just speaks to you today the way that it has spoke to me again this week. I love living among the sheep. I love living among the sheep. It is amazing. And I encourage you to read and study the scriptures. There are some amazing books out there, even around uh, sheep that are mentioned even in scripture. And... I love seeing and watching that scripture come to life. Y'all, I hope you have an amazing week this week. I hope life is wonderful for you. Um, I'm watching those numbers come down, at least here, and our numbers were probably the highest just about anywhere. Um, it's almost Thanksgiving, and I just encourage you as we lead up to Thanksgiving, to be thankful for all of us. Be thankful that the Lord came after you, that he left us 99 to come for you. If you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, it's not too late. Turn away from your sin. Believe on him. Ask him into your heart and life. Ask him for forgiveness and join his flock today. So stay tuned next week, y'all. We hope to be back in the kitchen. So have a great week. See you then. Oh, was it good, baby? Let's rub those ears. Oh, let's rub those ears. Oh. <laughs> I love her.